Hey, what's up, guys? Rolandas here. As you can see, I'm all back, and it's time to talk about my transplant. Stay tuned. So it's been roughly three months after my second hair transplant with Dr. Bruno Freire in Portugal. If you're new here, make sure to check out my other videos, especially my playlist on my first transplant, so you can learn more about it. In short, I'm Norwood 5A, and I had 6,540 grafts extracted and implanted uh, all over my top basically in two surgeries and currently I'm three months uh, after my second transplant so let's just dive into it let's start from my donor area so I just went right now to get a haircut uh, my side and my back my donor area was growing pretty bushy to be honest it was way too much hair in there because I didn't have a haircut uh, for one month since I was in uh, holidays in Bulgaria and yeah right now I just came back and uh, I decided to cut it pretty short this time, a little bit shorter than last time. And what I did, I asked my barber to cut uh, all the way down to guard two uh, on my sides and my back. And what he did, he mainly uh, did guard uh, 1.5 in the very, very bottom over here, uh, just before the extraction area like starts. And then until half of the donor was like uh, guard number two and a, a bit higher, he just basically cleaned it up a little bit with the scissors. He took a little bit of this bulk down because there was like like a lot of hair in there basically. You know, the contrast was so big, it was uh, like my Norwood 5 pattern basically was really, really obvious. Yeah, so that's done and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go uh, lower than that. And even at uh, guard number two in some areas, like uh, here or like on the side or in the back, for example, here, you can kind of see a little bit that there's something wrong. Uh, it's like a lighter spot, it's just where the extraction basically starts. So I think the better haircut for me personally would be to go like a kind of a skin fade like I did um, last year, uh, five months after my first transplant. My hair was cut to the skin until it reached the um, like donor area, the start of the extractions, and then it was like a slight blend all the way up. I think this kind of haircut would suit me like better, but again, I'm still right now at this stage when I'm like basically trying the, the different things and see what you know what kind of hairstyles or like sh how short I can go in my donor, you know, in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about current style of the donor. In terms of the top is, of course, nothing is growing yet, it's three months, although I'm expecting to see uh, improvement, like new growth of transplanted uh, hairs from a second transplant uh, in basically in upcoming weeks, because uh, in between month like a uh, one and three, there is literally nothing is happening, but for some people from month three, like a first couple of weeks, they start to see already uh, new growth happening. And because I'm on oral minoxidil, I'm kind of expecting it to come a little bit earlier. There's uh, a lot of like kind of rumors going on that if you're using minoxidil, normally it's topical minoxidil, uh, on the transplanted area, the transplanted hairs are growing like sooner, they're coming out sooner and faster. So I'm hoping for that and we shall see how it's gonna look in the upcoming weeks. But to me, honest, even at this length right now, it looks really nice. My first transplant uh, nicely framed my face with this uh, new hairline, which is looking, by the way, Perfect. Let me just show you actually how it looks on the clothes. Such a natural hairline, isn't it? I absolutely love it. Like single grabs. They're I think there's one or two doubles, it's over here, but it's like really invisible to be honest and it looks really nice. Dr. Ferrer asked me on my second surgery if I want to remove it and I actually decided, you know, not to bother because it might create a scar tissue and knowing mine, uh, like body, how it heals, it heals pretty terrible to be honest. The scars are really, really white. Uh, so some of you guys know that on my donor area uh, during my second transplant. And for example, I've got here, couple of scars I did just before holidays, like a month ago. And look the way it's healing. It's uh, properly white. It's like all around is red, but in the middle, where the actual scar is, the cut is like white. And I've got a couple of them. Uh, all of these scars, it's like they're really, really white. So I think if I would uh, extract this double from my hairline, it might leave like a kind of more visible scar tissue. Although normally on hairline, on like there's a lot of vascularity in this place. so. 
the scars are healing extremely well. The same like for the beard, I've seen extractions from the beard done. The scars are like pretty much non-existent in there. But I still didn't want to take chances. And to be honest, it's very difficult. Like nobody ever spotted this double until I actually found it myself. Like about what was it? Seven, seven or eight months after my first transplant. So yeah, it's pretty invisible. By the way, all the redness from the temple peaks especially, are, I think it's pretty much gone. And the top as well, I don't have any. Although I spent quite a lot of time on, on the sun uh, in Bulgaria. But uh, nonetheless, the redness is pretty much gone. Uh, the only thing I noticed like recently again from the sun, my hair just got like much lighter, especially the finer uh, miniaturized hair in my mid scalp and crown that were already light. They got even more lighter than they were before. So it looks, they look a little bit funny right now. There's a clear like a disconnect in terms of colors between like a frontal fur and like what is a miniaturized, you know, mid scalp and crown. So yeah, I'm looking forward for new growth happening. <laughs> In general, my mid scalp looks actually really nice already, and it's because uh, I got really great boost from oral minoxidil in terms of my like a native miniaturized hairs in that area, but also some of the grass that didn't shed and just kept growing after my second transplant, giving like you know more hair because there is like a quite a lot of like a doubles and triples, for example, in this area that are you know giving three hairs at the same time and it gives more coverage. So actually, it looks really nice already, like you know, in this kind of angle. And you know what's interesting, when we're talking about like uh, angles or directions of the hair, it really can create a big illusion of density. For example, uh, I'm brushing my hair a little bit like to this side like that, so it kind of combs like layers on each other and it creates basically more illusion of density. And uh, right now, if you're gonna look, like if I coming like that and you're gonna look from this angle, you can see more skull because you, you're looking directly like all like through the hair basically because it's like facing you like that so you don't see much but if you look at the camera like from this angle so you're gonna well, like one individual hair from this particular angle one individual hair gonna create more like a coverage scalp coverage if it makes sense it looks like i've got full head of hair there's no problem at all just pay attention when you're looking at like results or pictures online just keep this in mind and that's it for this short video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you stay tuned for my second hair transplant progress and updates. I'm posting uh, every two weeks of my uh, updates. And also a lot of other different tips and tricks for hair transplants, hair loss, my oral minoxidil journey, etc. So a lot of in useful information and interesting videos. Yeah, make sure to subscribe and like this video as well. They're going to help me a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And in Germany, I feel like my hair is actually growing much longer. Shall I stay maybe here? And uh, in Austria, having some snack. Follicles are even better in Austria. The further I go, the better it looks. Mm. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Uh, by the way, in Austria, maybe I can see a man dominance. He's from here. Okay, guys, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. And for that, I manage <sighs> to go on this very big mountain right over here all by walk with all of this huh? just joking <laughs>